What's up, y'all? I'm Ivory Rose, and welcome to my channel, Ivory Rose Grows Wild. All right, so um, this channel is all about my witchy journey, and I do a lot of unboxings, like a lot of witchy unboxings. Um, I do a lot of tarot readings, and today we're going to do a tarot reading on um, this Leo full moon. So today is January, no, excuse me, it's February 5th, 2023, and today is the Leo full moon. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get a message in this Leo full moon. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, go ahead, like, and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. This right here is uh, Intuition Spray. Clear the air. Tap into the intu my intuition. Okay. All right, so I'm setting the intention that this reading comes across uh, for anybody who needs it. Um, if you come across this video and then there's a message in there in it for you. All right, so what message do you have for us? Spirit, spirit. what message do you have for us in this Leo full moon? All right. So, I hope everyone is having a good day. Later in the video, I will go over some things that we can do for the Leo full moon to tap into this amazing, brave, confident energy. All right, Spirit, what do you have for us? Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is turning. So it is a card of good luck, destiny, chance, karma, cycles of life. Okay. So right now we're in a decisive moment right now in our lives. Making a break for it. Seven of Swords. And I just said decisive moments too. So is did somebody get caught cheating, lying, stealing, being dishonest? Moving on. Yeah, there's you you caught somebody stealing, cheating, being dishonest, and you're eight of cup eight of cups in that shit, and you're moving on. So yeah. This is a cycle right here. All three of these cards. This is a cycle of the wheels turning in your favor. You're heading towards good luck right now. Um, you chose to move on from somebody you caught that was deceiving you, lying, trying to trick you, um, risky behavior. Just... An enemy masquerading as a friend. And you are letting go of that shit and you're moving on. Three of Swords. Yeah, it, it's heartbreak. You're heartbroken over this. Even though they're a piece of shit, you still feel pain from this heartbreak. This is still a betrayal. And you're removing yourself from them. Yeah, look. Nine of uh, Swords, it's this decision that you're having to make is causing a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. Um, you may be having trouble sleeping at night. Um, you're at your breaking point. You're just having a hard time coping with your decision. But it's going to be okay because luck is in your favor. Remember the Wheel of Fortune. Luck is in your favor. So yeah, just... The eight of the um, Queen of Cups. So you're making a choice based on your sincere feelings right now. See the Queen of Cups. She is someone that um, follows her dreams. She's empathetic of others. Someone that maybe is in the occult interest. Maybe you are. Um, and I'm seeing that maybe a mother figure or a mother. 
a mother or mother figure may be playing a significant role in your future events. Um, yeah. Okay, so you're heading towards independent wealth. And this mother figure is helping you get there. She's helping you find the success. She's helping you um, reap the abundance, the rewards through your hard work. Saw that fly out? Yeah, but you're still feeling lost from this three of swords heartbreak. You're still feeling the loss. You're still looking at the, the three cups that have spilt in front of you, but you're not looking at the two cups that are behind you. And that's where you need to focus. That's where your independent wealth is. That's where you're going to grow your abundance. Okay, we got um, the Ten of Wands. So yeah, this is this is this loss is a heavy burden. It is a it's causing a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety. You feeling overburdened, overloaded right now with a lot of responsibility, stress, a lot of weight on your shoulders. Um, that this heartbreak, this loss has caused you. But I'm here to tell you that the wheel has turned in your favor. Good luck is coming towards you. It, this is destiny. This was supposed to happen. And this was a karmic lesson. You may have thought that they were your soulmate. But I'm hearing that they're a karmic soulmate. They're, they are here to teach you a lesson. And it may be a lesson that you have already had. Two of Cups. You're like burdening yourself between this loss and this love. This is the Two of Cups that came out. You're like holding yourself burdened to it. But I'm seeing stay balanced. Just stay balanced. Have mutual respect for the other person. What more? So we got the Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you want to escape. You want to escape this mindset that you're in. You feel it. You know you want to. I know, like, you feel the freedom that you that is just right on the tip of your fingertips. But this is a mindset that's holding you back. And it's time to release. It's time to um, find the solutions and the options. It's time to take control over your mindset. Okay, it's time to take control over your mindset. You saw that fly out? Yeah. Okay, so this is the Empress in reverse. Yeah, you're feeling a lot of insecurity. I love the Empress in reverse. She is my favorite tarot card. Um, so yeah, she came out in reverse. You're feeling a lot of insecurity. Maybe some of you, maybe a small portion of you may be struggling, struggling with a little infertility. But, and that may have caused like this heartbreak, but, um, just grow from this experience. Don't let the disharmony and, uh, just don't let, don't be negligent to your growth. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't be negligent to your growth. Don't make yourself stuck in this mindset of like, of the loss, you know? You, like I said, the wheel has turned in your favor. I'm, it's just so bright ahead. The six of swords. And that is the card of transitioning, moving on, moving forward. And that's just what I said. You're moving towards something better, a brighter future. And that's what literally came out was you moving on. Move these cards up a little bit. I'm just seeing so much fear, anxiety, and losing sleep over this. Mindset, but I see that you are taking control. You are escaping. You can ex you're you're choosing to escape 
Just don't let your insecurities get in the way. You're moving to a brighter future, okay? All right, that is the Page of Pentacles, and that is basically a card, like, new job, good news in earthly matters is coming to you. See, like I said, that, that Wheel of Fortune, that's good luck. Your luck is turning. Everything's going to go in your favor. New, solid beginnings are, are going to form for you. You're setting the goals. You're... you're getting the opportunity you're going to be getting the opportunity opportunity to increase your income soon page of pentacles you're going to you that is literally where you're trained you're heading to right now so the loss that was in the past you're now transitioning you're moving on and you're sailing away towards this good news and earthly matters towards this opportunity to increase your income just be open-minded. Some of you may, if you get the opportunity to go back to school, do it. If you can, do it. Be willing to learn and someone you can count on. Okay, so those qualities, tap into those qualities so you can draw in that um, opportunity to increase your income. What else do you have for us, Spirit? The Hierophant. Yeah, so you're, you are, I'm getting, okay. Education is loud as fuck right now with the Page of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Um, that's higher education, knowledge. Um, I'm, I'm just really seeing like maybe going back to college or getting some type of um, education and with this Nine of Pentacles, I mean, with this Page of Pentacles and the Hierophant, if some of you may get a, get take, I'm here and take the chance to better your, to further your education, and that will absolutely draw in more money for you. Be open to learning, and that will draw in more income. That will be... Yeah, and that will draw in a lot of balance for you financially with the two of pentacles. It'll balance your um it'll balance your money. Yeah, you have some financial decisions to make. That's what that two of pentacles is also telling me. You have some financial decisions to make. Um, you may have to resort actually <laughs> with the two, with the Hierophant, that's, you know, traditional institution. You may have to, uh, you have a financial, financial decision that could involve, could involve, um, a traditional institution. I'm not seeing a justice card here yet, which would be court, but, um. Yeah, okay, so here's the Queen of Swords. Make sure, you know, with the Queen of Swords, her thoughts dominate her feelings. She is um, keen for insight. She is has fair judgment. You know, right now is the time to stand up for yourself and be clear about your wants and needs. I just mentioned the fact that the with the Hierophant and the Two of Pentacles, you, I, I didn't see the court card, you know, the, um, justice card, but with the queen of swords coming out after the two of pentacles right here, you're having to make a decision for yourself and you're going to, you're having to stand up for yourself. What through a in, traditional institution that has to deal with your financial decisions. Okay. What more do we have, Spirit? Okay. Yeah, Page of Cups. Trust your intuition. You're getting a little message of intuition right now. 
Um, I'm seeing someone who has suffered loss or hardship. It's time for you to um, balance your life out. It's time for you to trust your intuition. There's, you know, love coming in. Um, passion coming in with the Knight of Wands. Um, but don't make any quick decisions. Don't make any hasty decisions. And I'm seeing some sexual adventure. I don't know. What else, Spirit? Yeah, so you've got love and passion coming in. So, like, get your money right. Take care of what you've got to take care of. Trust your intuition. And, like, that Knight of Wands is coming in hot. But a little message of love. Just trust your intuition. Yeah. Um, it's someone that's a mature, grounded male. Or, like, has, ma um, has uh, masculine energy. With this king of pentacles they're going to provide a lot of um security they're successful they have money they're not really a risk taker they are stable and there's somebody that cares a lot about money so there's someone coming in hot for you that has money got their shit together but I mean, it's up to you whether you want to allow this energy in. But with the two, Page of Cups, the, knight, the um, knight of Wands, and this King of Pentacles, this tells me right here that a mature male who has his life together, has money, has, has financial security, is coming in hot, and he's going to make a sexual pass at you. He's going to like hit on you. He's you you're definitely going to know this little you're, you're definitely going to know when this message of love comes in hot because that's what he's he's doing. Whether you allow that in your energy, that's up to you. <clears throat> but, you know, every decision we make is a learning experience. Okay, what more do you have for us, Spirit? What more what more messages do you have for us? Okay. Um the mission re the magician reverse. So there may be some blocked create creativity going on, some indecisiveness. I know you're frustrated. You may be having to deal with some delays right now. Um Just stand up for your beliefs. This is the uh, Seven of Wands. Stand up for your beliefs. Be protective over your energy. Yeah, I don't think that you should go for this little hasty night that is coming in hot with his big dick energy. But, you know, like the cards are telling me he may not be such a great... I think you need to stand your ground when it comes to that person. When he come, when they come in, stand your ground, protect your, protect your corner, fight your corner, hold your own, okay. Maintain control. He's someone that's very territorial, so um, yeah, I don't think that's. I think you should pass on that energy. So this is the Queen of Wands right here. She's a helpful, friend, helpful friend who is well liked. So yeah, you may be coming into you know coming across someone after you know this big dick energy dude that wants to just come in with the love and then yeah he's gonna make you feel defensive. So like pass on that, okay? Just be in the energy, being kind, loyal, generous, con confident you know be a woman who enjoys what she has her limelight and you know value your home and your home life focus on your home and your family okay don't worry about mr knight over there don't worry about him because he's not really offering you really anything okay and you're building your life right you're building your life you're trying to 
get stable after this tremendous heartbreak that's keeping you up overnight. You know, you're trying to um, build your stability and your own security. You're trying to bring in your own prosperity, wealth, and abundance. And, you know, your your rewards will come through. All your hard work that you're doing, your, your rewards will come through. Okay? Yes. Yeah, so with this Knight of Swords, big, like, opportunities or... Big changes and opportunities are heading your way. Um, I'm hearing you need to seize the moment, jump in, um, arrival, departure. I'm seeing a plane, so maybe y'all, some of y'all may be taking a plane trip. Um, yeah, I'm hearing be direct, be honest, be quick-witted. Don't cave into your impulses. Remember that night? Don't cave into your impulses, okay? Better shit is coming. Be someone who gets what they want. And you know you already do. You know what your value is. You know what your worth is. So get what you deserve. And you know what you deserve. And you know you deserve more than what that little knight is going to give you. Yeah. Uh, page of Wands Reverse. Um, lack of energy. Some of you are feeling like you have a lack of energy. Some of you are feeling like you want to act out. You're wanting, some of you are wanting to act out because of the other person that broke your heart. But don't cave into those impulses. Don't make any hasty decisions that are, don't, you don't want to be just like them. You know, you're, you don't want to sink down to their level. And work on trying not to be so insensitive. Okay. Who cares what other people think? Who cares what your little ex over there thinks? Who cares what this little empty cup knight thinks? Do you, boo. Do you, boo. That's what I'm hearing. Do you, boo. One more shuffle and then I'm going to go to clar the clarifying deck, okay? And give, me, give us a little more info, but is there any more spirit? Nope. Okay. Energy underneath the deck. Oh, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're at an ending right now, okay? You are, this is, it's time to, like, like I said, the wheel is turned in your favor. Get your life together. You know, yeah, you're dealing with someone who betrayed you and backstabbed you. You may be dealing with some bad mouth and enemies, people who are bitter, someone who wants to treat you like a fucking doormat. Um, but don't, you, you're not a failure. You're not, okay? You may be feeling defeated over what you're having to, uh, this betrayal, but, and you're feeling like you're having a breakdown, Some of you may, some of you may have had a curse put on you with that Ten of Swords. Um, that's not for everybody, but hey, I always recommend a good Palo, Palo Santo um, cleanse, you know, White Sage cleanse. Um, you can, um, shit, man, what else can you do? You can ring a bell over you. You can cleanse yourself. Um, yeah. Do an egg cleanse. I'm here tonight. Do an egg cleanse. Some of you feel like you hit rock bottom. You're on rock bottom. You hit a wall. It's time to sever the fucking ties. Say goodbye. They put a nail in their coffin. They betrayed you. They're not doing what they're supposed to. They're not. They broke your fucking heart. You know, take care of your financial situations in whatever way that means. Um, protect your energy. And, you know, do a fucking egg cleanse. That's what I say. So the bottom of the deck is the energy that's surrounding you, whether you're aware of it or not. So, yeah. So that's that's that part of the reading. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was heavy, huh? But this is a full moon in Leo, and full moons are about releasing. In Leo, well, Leo's that... Confident, strong, 
person that knows what they want, that's not afraid to stand up for themselves, that's brave, that, you know, is fearless. Tap into this Leo full moon energy and be fearless these next two weeks. Take care of what you have to to get you financially stable. Because if you don't give it to yourself, you, nobody else will, right? Nobody else will. You got your fucking bag. You got your fucking bag. Yeah, the world. Okay, so... You are really just ending a cycle. In the cycle. In the cycle. That's what I'm hearing. In the cycle. You're going through... This is a brand new beginning. Okay. Please clarify... That world card came out, so it needed to be, it wanted to be seen. Look how pretty that card is. There's a lot of blue in this card, so I'm, I'm seeing a lot of intellectual, like, um, thinking going on. I'm seeing a lot of um, blue, maybe a lot of crying, a lot of sadness. But it's time for a new beginning. We need to see the um the full. Okay, please cl clarify this reading for us, spirit. Give us any information that you want us to know that can lead us in our right in the right direction. Any signs? What should we work with? What chakra? What herb? Is there anything? else please clarify okay Aquarius so we are in Aquarius season happy birthday to all my Aquarius babies I am an Aquarius son my birthday is next week so yeah um we're definitely tapping into the right fucking energy because this is an Aquarius season. Um, you may be dealing with, you may be dealing, if you're not an Aquarius, now you, okay. Boop. <laughs> so that was a lot coming in. Um, we are in Aquarius season. If you are not an Aquarius yourself, you may be dealing with uh, an Aquarius sun, moon, or rising sign. Um, wow. Okay, so now is the Taurus card. Um, you may also be dealing with the Taurus. I am an Aqu Aquarius sun, moon, Taurus, moon, uh, I mean, uh, Taurus rising. So this is speaking loud for me. Um, I'm hearing be a visionary, an inventive, eccentric person. And yeah, that's in the lover's card came out. So yeah, do good things, y'all.